guys, it's Lee, and I'm back. I'm trying to use up these so-called galaxy colors that I have, and I thought I would try a multi-flip cup on this 12 by 12 canvas. I have my white, my black. Um, you could just look back at the last video, I guess. I have a purple, it's a violet, phthalo blue, the tiniest bits of silver and gold, a yellow, a pink, and a turquoise. I don't have the exact names of these colors, but I don't think it's that important, really. So my plan is to do these four little cups, and once I fill them, I'm going to put some paint around the canvas so that there is some negative space between them. So I'm going to start each of these little cups with just a teeny smidge of black, just just the tiniest bit, because black is something that I have a lot of trouble with. Every time I use it, I use too much, so just putting a little bit. Right? And then basically, I'm just going to layer in all the other colors I have. Maybe I should do them a little differently. Alright, so I'm going to flip them all as best I can. And quickly pour a little bit of black between them and around them. Uh, right, I'm almost out of black. Just gonna let that sort of mingle together for a little while and change my battery. I'm gonna go ahead and torch it, get rid of the air bubbles. There's no silicone, so if there are any cells, it's all due to the weight of the paint and maybe the flow troll. Okay, so I'm gonna start tilting. I'm doing it like in circular motions because I don't want that, you know, straight line like an X through the center.
All right, so I don't like this patch through here, the solid black. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I think I'm gonna pick up some of this. Just kind of. Actually, I'm kind of regretting the bubblegum pink color. I just really don't like the way it looks through there. I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it just like this. Can you see it? Okay, so here it is. I turned off the overhead light just because of the glare. And here it is up close. I really think I'm just gonna stick to bottle bottom pours. <laughs> Not really. You don't learn unless you try. So there it is. I'll be back in a couple of days to show you what it looks like when it's dry. Okay, so here we are a couple of days later and this is what it looks like. I actually really like this one. Um, down here, actually, how was this before? I think it was like this. But on this side, I had to change it up a little bit because I dropped some paint in there by accident. So while I was doing a different painting, so I had to swirl it around and it's different than it was, but I still like it. But I think this is the way I would hang it. I don't know. I think it turned out pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And then with the paint that was left over in the cups, I just poured it onto this little five by seven canvas I got at the Dollar Tree. And does anybody else see the little bird profile? That turned out so cute. I really, really like this one. I'll get you down close. Look, it totally looks like a bird. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified every time I upload new videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.